Welcome to the latest episode of the Zotac Video Podcast. Today we'll be introducing our new high-performance Zotac GeForce GTX 260 squared with 216 stream processors. Inside the box, you'll find the Zotac GeForce GTX 260 squared graphics card with dual Dual Link DVI and HDTV output, SLI bridge connectors for three-way SLI, and dual PCI Express power connectors. Bundled with the card, you'll find a DVI to VGA adapter, DVI to HDMI adapter, SPDIF audio input cable to route audio over DVI or HDMI, a TV output dongle featuring component and S-video outputs, and two dual Molex to 6-pin PCI Express power adapters. A full copy of the game grid is also included in the bundle. To demonstrate the performance of the graphics card, we'll be installing it in our high-end system featuring an Intel Core 2 Quad, Zotac N4790i Supreme motherboard, 4 gigs of Patriot DDR3 memory, and a Western Digital Velociraptor hard drive. Please make sure to have an adequate power supply before installing the graphics card. Zotac recommends a minimum of 500 watts for single card and 800 watts for SLI operation. Both PCI Express power connectors must be connected or the system will not boot. The Zotac GeForce GTX 260 squared features 216 stream processors with 896 megabytes of video memory. To demonstrate the performance of the Zotac GeForce GTX 260 squared, we'll be using the game's Crisis and Race Driver grid. With a demanding game such as Crisis, you can expect around 30 frames per second at full HD resolutions with 2 times anti-aliasing and high detail settings. With a game such as Grid, you can expect around 65 frames per second at full HD resolutions, ultra quality settings, and 4 times anti-aliasing. That brings this episode of the Zotac Video Podcast to an end. Thank you for joining us.